my name is Inga, and I just want to warn you that you have an enemy. You have a potential enemy, I'll put it like that. And that enemy is with you all the time. That enemy is called self-sabotage. And it comes in different ways. Um, overeating, procrastination, bad decisions, hanging around the wrong people. But you combat it with taking responsibility for your actions. My thing right now is I, I'm thinking about myself and one of my issues is overeating. And I wouldn't even say maybe it's not always overeating, but bad choices. And sometimes it gets a little tricky, like over the holidays, I was like, okay, let me buy this. Things I don't normally purchase uh, for my household, I purchase like potato salad, potato chips, uh, cookies, uh, fried chicken. And uh, this time I, my reasoning was, well, it's the holidays. And, you know, just want to do something special. And I got them. And I noticed today, I'm like, well, it's, it looks like I'm the one who's eating most of <laughs> these things that I call myself purchasing for the other people in the household. So I still had to question myself and say, what's going on here? I can't, I'm, look, I'm trying to think of what triggered it. I really can't say, but I'm just glad that I caught it. And I'm taking responsibility for my own actions. I'm going to take responsibility for it. And, and stop it and um, that's something that I believe what causes um, the problem to continue is because you feel like well if they didn't do this then I wouldn't have done that if they didn't say that then I wouldn't have said this and then you have to then really ask yourself okay Who's hurting in this situation? Who gained the weight? Okay. Who got the high blood pressure? Who has the high cholesterol? Who's may taking medication for the high blood pressure now? Who's taking medication for the high cholesterol? And then I have to just say, listen, well then I need to make some changes unless I want things to get worse. And, and just say, listen, I'm going to do something about this and take on responsibility. And, and it's a sad case if your, your life is given over to other people because you can't control what they do. But you can control what you do. You can control what you put in your, on your, your mouth to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it doesn't have to be this huge thing. You could, um, you could, it could be progressive, you know. Um, some people, they, they just cut out everything altogether. Um, my thing is taking baby steps because I'm, I, that's what I do. That's what helped me is gradually um, eating better. Because then I, I just, I begin to form a habit of liking salads. Now, I love salads. I have to have a salad every day. Um, I don't even put salad dressing on it most of the times. I just need some, I just put some salt on it. And actually, um, either sea salt or um, the pink salt. And uh, the, from the, the Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt. And some red pepper flakes, um, a little olive oil, and I love it. And I put um, raisins and sunflower seeds in it, and sometimes almonds. And there's a, a dressing, a ginger dressing that I use sometimes, very rarely, but that's 
really the only dressing that I use, and it's just a little bit. Just to mix it up and give it a different taste sometimes. But ultimately, I had to say, listen, this is my life. Do I want to stay in this situation of having my knees hurt all the time? Being winded, being out of breath, being out of shape. And I took the initiative to say, listen, I'm going to do something about it. And I started off, it started off with um, baby steps. It's, it's been a gradual thing. But so far, I've lost 73 pounds and, and counting. And um, if I could do it, trust me, you can do it. It was not overnight. It was not overnight. But I didn't give up. It's, it's been actually over a few years, but I had to take responsibility because sometimes I would get upset like, oh, well, you invited me here. This is what you have here. There's something. But I just had to, you know, ahead of time find out, you know, well, what's on the menu? Um, this, what is it like? Or um, what kind of um, meats are going to be served? And I've learned over, too, that I had some food allergies. And um, that's helped a lot as far as um, knowing that I can't have certain things. And it helped me to um, get some self-control because I'm like, do I want it? It wasn't a, an allergy that was life-threatening. It was more of a nuisance allergy where I would continuously sneeze and have like these um sinus issues and it just was very annoying and i was like well i don't want to live like that so i had to cut out those things they were and they they really do taste good to me but i didn't like how i felt after i ate them i didn't like feeling like i'm coming down with a cold and it wasn't worth it anymore because it was starting to affect my quality of life and those are things that you have to ask yourself okay if this person doesn't understand that I can't eat certain things, but they insist that I go to, say if you're allergic to seafood, and they insist that you go to a seafood restaurant, then don't go out to eat with that person. That, evidently, that person is an understanding of your needs, and you can go out find other people to go hang out with. Uh, I'm going to be talking about some other issues that people face on as far as like self-sabotage. And I hope you will tune in. And I hope you have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful night, and a beautiful life. God bless you.